What's up loves? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nakia and hi. <laughs> if you're new here, thank you for tuning in. If you like my vibe, make sure you subscribe and I hope to see you in another video. So today I'm going to be talking about my experience with nipple piercings. I've had mine pierced for almost 10 months now. Um, I am not a piercer. I am just someone who has 11 piercings. So I feel like I am pretty knowledgeable on this topic. I can give you the rundown, know what to expect. I know what to do. So I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give... What am I trying to say? <laughs> I'm going to talk about the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, and the ugly of having your nipples pierced. So if you're thinking about getting them pierced or you're just interested in this video, go ahead and keep watching because we're about to get started right now. So first things first, I want to talk about the pros of having them pierced. What are the good things about having your nipples pierced? Well, first, everybody knows they're lit, okay? Nipple piercings are lit. They are beautiful and they look good on just about everyone i don't think there's anyone that they don't look good on they look good on the itty bitty titties they look good on the big double d melons um they just look good because it's jewelry jewelry is there to accessorize to make look more attractive to give a little bling bling so that's always a pro that's the number one pro honestly is that they're beautiful speaking on to that another pro is that it gives you so much self-confidence okay um once i first got them pierced i was just happy okay once i got through it i was happy like i just love looking at them like i am the one that never wears a bra especially not in the summertime because i'm just proud of my nips okay they look good <laughs> they look super good so it does give you a lot of self-confidence at least it did for me so that's always a pro um, another super pro in having them pierced is the different jewelry that they offer. So once you are able to change your jewelry, you have so many options to choose from. You have an assortment of colors, assortment of designs. Um, you can get hearts, you can get snakes, you can get arrows, you can get playboy bunnies you can get the dangly ones that i am terrified of <laughs> you can get elephants of course elephants of course i know i love my elephant we are going to see something cool <gasps> isn't that cool? <laughs> don't lie that was cool um but yeah you can get elephants you can get hello kitties you can get you can get anything you want Okay, um, so that's really cool. You have an assortment of jewelry to choose from. If you see me looking over, it's because I'm looking at my notes. I don't want to leave nothing out. So another pro is that they are very easy to clean. Cleaning them doesn't take much at all. What I do is get a spray bottle just like this, fill it up with a little sea salt, add a little warm water, shake it up, and spray them. Literally, that's all I do. You don't have to do too much. Um, I even sometimes I get like um, a cotton swab, um, the Q-tips, and once I spray it, I'll just take it and kind of like, you know, clean around the nip, make sure I get all the crusties and all that stuff off because you're going to get the crusties. Um, so yeah, they're easy to clean. You can also get um, the H2 Ocean, um, the blue uh, aerosol that comes like in the container thing. You can get that. A lot of people use that. It's a, what a lot of piercers and tattoo artists you know all of that it's what they recommend so definitely check that out as well if you don't want to make your own you can always purchase that i think it's like 11 bucks on amazon um i did get that but it didn't last long so i just said whatever and kind of made my own so yeah they're easy to clean and some people don't even do the whole sea salt spray method some people just get in the shower and let the soap and water like run down and kind of you know clean them themselves whatever works for you as long as you're consistent and taking care of them you'll be good. So yeah, another super pro is that they're easy to clean. You don't have to do too much. So another super pro in having your nipples pierced is that they increase your sensitivity a little bit. So <laughs> at least for me, at least for me, I know some people can lose their sensitivity. I'm sorry if that has happened to you. That really sucks. But for me, it kind of increased my sensitivity. Um, before I got them pierced, I wasn't like a big, do you want to suck on my type of girl <laughs> but ever since i got them pierced honestly 
I mean, you know, why not? Even though I haven't had that happen yet because they, they're still healing. Okay, they're still healing. I haven't had that experience yet. But I know that my uh, sensitivity has increased because, you know, I could just tell by like when I, you know, touch them or like rub them against something. Like I can feel it. So um, that is kind of, that, that can be a good thing for you. You know, if you're into that kind of thing. The increased sensitivity um, is a pro. <laughs> I feel so dirty talking about this. I don't know why. Just another rundown on the pros is that they are beautiful. They look good on just about everybody. They're easy to clean. You have an assortment of jewelry. It gives you a load of self-confidence and it increases your sensitivity. Okay, so that kind of wraps up the pros. I know it's not there it's not many but um <laughs> it is what it is. We're gonna move into the cons of having them peers. Okay, so the number one con is that they hurt like a motherfucker, okay? Nipple piercings hurt. Like, don't let anybody lie to you and tell you that they do not hurt because they're a liar. Um, The first one hurts, but the second one hurts even worse than the first one. And I think the second one hurts worse is because after you get the first one pierced, you know, you know your nerves are high your, your nerves are up you know adre your adrenaline's pumping like once you get that stab through your first one you kind of just like on edge so of course the second one it just hurts more than the first one I, I believe that's the reason why i'm pretty sure that is the reason because you already ain't expecting the pain and once you get it it's just like <laughs> um i did not scream okay when i got my pierce um i kind of just sat there and took mine like a champ like I said, it's not my first rodeo um, as far as getting needles stuck through me. <laughs> so I kind of just took it like a champ. But I'm not going to knock the pain level and say that it wasn't that bad because I'm not even going to sit there and lie to you. Um, they hurt. So if you can't handle pain, this is not for you. Once you are able to get through that and after they stop, you know, feeling that pressure and intense feeling after you get them pierced, you all good, girl. Or guy. So moving on from the pain, which I guess we're not moving on from the pain because another con is that they take forever to heal. Okay, so they take anywhere from six months to a year to heal. And I've heard stories about people who they still haven't healed from them and they've had them pierced for over a year. So they take a long time to heal. So yeah, that kind of sucks is that they take so long to heal. Um, so just be very careful and very mindful um don't be having you know nobody licking and touching and sucking all over them because you'll but we'll get an infection so just kind of <laughs> be mindful of that is that they take a long time to heal just continue to take care of them um just treat them good and they'll treat you great okay which brings me to another con is that please 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 be careful okay be mindful that you have jewelry that is kind of sticking out a little bit, especially on your chest. So just be aware of the snagging and the pulling and God forbid the ripping of the jewelry, okay? Of the barbell, the ring, whatever you get, please just be careful, okay? When I was doing my research before I got them pierced, I ran across a girl who was in the shower and she, you know, she was scrub-a-dub-dubbing and her loofah got caught on her barbell and mm, so kind of terrifying so after that i was kind of very mindful but that still didn't stop me from making a mistake because one day i was in the shower i wasn't tripping my business i'm thinking because i have my loofah all the way up here you know that i'm good but the um string that hangs from the loofah that you use to hang the loofah up um was down here and I, it wrapped around my bar and so when i had went up to scrub my back it pulled it and it was painful like i just wanted to melt and go down the drain because that was like a terrifying i can laugh about it now but honestly i was <laughs> in so much pain and i was afraid i didn't even want to look because i thought maybe i had like ripped it out thank god i was good but yeah so just be very careful of the snagging the pulling um whether you're putting on shirts taking off shirts whatever you're doing um just be careful that you have your nipples pierced they're not done healing and you can it can go bad at any point in time so yeah just be careful so another con about having your nipples pierced is the pus and the blood and the crust i think it's inevitable because no matter how much i take care of them no matter how much i clean them and i'm good to them i think the 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 crusties and the blood and the pus i honestly 
think it's just supposed to happen. It's they're healing, so I I I guess not fun, not cute, not attractive at all. When that happens, you know, just clean it off um, and just go about your day. But if they stink, if they smell, or if you're in pain, they're hurting, if they're tentative to the touch, um, then maybe something is wrong. You know, if you notice too much blood or just anything out of the norm, um, then maybe you might want to go back to your piercer, go to the doctor and get that checked out because um, you might be infected. Um, but other than that, if you just have like the little minor, you know, pus, crust and blood, then you should be good. Um, I wouldn't dive too deep into it unless you are in pain. Um, or if it smells terrible, then definitely go get that checked out, sis, because that's not supposed to happen. Um, another con is that, um, jumping back to the healing time, is that um, they heal at different speeds, okay? So this one of mine is healing a lot faster than this one, okay? This one is my problem nip, okay? This one gives me problems, okay? This is the one that's always having the issues. Her, very good. She's chill, you know she lets me live my life and she's good but this one is the one who i am having so much trouble with so i can definitely tell that this one is healing faster than this one i don't know why that is i'm doing the exact same things um to both of them um but i just think it just how's it go how it goes you might just have one that heals faster than the other so it's kind of a sucky kind um so just pay attention um if yours are just healing at different speeds there's nothing wrong with one or the other it's just, you know, how it goes. So I, you'll be good, sis. Another, um, it's not really a con, but just something to watch out for um, is please be mindful of your piercer, okay? Go to someone you trust. Um, don't do it at home, okay? Unless you're a piercer and you know what you're doing. But otherwise, mm -mm. <laughs> I, don't even know, I don't even think that anybody can pierce their own nipple. But, you know, you'd be surprised of what people do out here. Um, but yeah, just be mindful of your piercer. Um, I have, when, like I said, when I was looking up um, people on YouTube and doing my research, I came across a girl who said she got hers pierced and her piercer kind of like pierced one of her nipples like too far back. So she pierced it kind of back into the boob and it just gave her a lot of problems. Or just be mindful that you're not getting like pierced like through the boob or you're not getting just just make sure you, they know what they're doing okay please just make sure they know what they're doing you don't want to be messed up and end up having to come back and go through that pain all over again all right so that kind of sums up the cons of having your nipples pierced just another run through um they hurt like hell okay um they take forever to heal six months to a year maybe longer um one of them might heal faster than the other so they have different you know healing speeds healing times um what else beware of the pulling the snagging the pus the blood in the crust just beware of that keep them clean and do right by them take care of them and also be very mindful of your piercer um, make sure that whoever you're getting to stick you has done sticking before and they know how to stick right okay all right guys, so that sums up the pros and cons in my experience of having my nipples pierced. I hope this video was helpful to you or just interesting <laughs> and gave you the satisfaction or information that you needed. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Peace.